Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to do one practical based on the Azure Data Factory. So we have one requirement. So we have to move our data from one storage container to another storage container. But our requirement is like we have to save this output file with a proper name. So generally what happens whenever you perform a copy activity, right? So generally if you will not mention anything, it will get stored into form of the part x0 something something. Okay. But uh, that is not a readable format. We have to store into a proper format so that whenever uh, we use in a future for any analytical purpose, we can easily identify for on particular on which particular date file it is there. Okay, so generally we try to store into a proper date format. Okay, so how actually we can do that actually we are going to see in this particular video. Okay, so what actually I, I have done? So I have one uh, storage account. In this storage account, I have one file. If I will show you employee1.csv. Okay, if I will show you, uh, the file looks like this. Okay, now what actually I want to do? I want to store into another output container. As of now, there is no file available in output file. I want to store into a time format. How actually I can do in the data factory we, we are going to see. So first you have to go to this uh, Azure data factory, go to the pipeline, click on the new pipeline. We are performing a copy activity. So I will move that. Go to the source. We are going to create a new data set. So I will click on the Azure blob storage. Our file is in CSV format. So I will select that click on the continue we are going to create one link service so that we can connect to our blob storage so i will select the subscription i will select my storage account name and i will click on the create okay so this is how our link service will create and this is how we will be able to we will be able to uh, we will be able to access our the blob storage okay it is uh, creating okay after that we have to select the file path where actually our file is so source is nothing but a source is nothing but our blob storage input file so that actually we have to select okay so let's wait it to be completed okay now it is uh, completed now what we have to do go we have to select our file path so what is our file path file path is nothing it is in input folder so click on the okay and first row is order click on the okay okay now our file is ready okay the data set name is a delimited text 2 that we have to remember now we have to go to the sync we have to create a blob storage because we want to store into a blob storage so i will create one uh, link uh, dissing data set we want to store into a json so i select the json uh, i will select the same link service okay because i want to store into the same path here we are actually we want to store we want to store into the output so i will select that okay click on the ok now this is the sync data set is json2 so we will go to the json or here itself if we will click on the open right now if we will go into the file file name right click on the add dynamic content now if you will see here right parameter and the function if you will go to the function you will get to see different kind of the function so we are going to store in the form of the date so what actually we will do we will select here so we have a utc time zone if you click here it will get stored your file name as a utc time zone okay now if you will see you have a different different function like add to time add days add hours add minutes so anything based on the your requirement you can select that okay convert time zone if you want to convert the time zone from a utc to the indian time zone or any time zone that actually you can do or you want to convert into utc that also you can do day of month day of week day of year also you can do so what we are going to do we are going to convert time zone okay now what we have to uh, write okay so this is the this is the one we have to use so what we are doing convert time zone utc and we are converting into indian standard time okay so this i will uh, mention into the description okay convert time zone utc and indian time zone we have to do okay click on the okay okay so this is the time zone where actually we want to store okay even if you want to mention any kind of the string also that also you can do okay now go to the pipeline now click on the publish publish now we will try to run and we'll see whether it is converting properly or not whether our file is getting saved properly or not so it is publishing when it will complete we will see okay now it is publishing we will wait it to be completed okay and then we will try to trigger it 
uh, whenever we will trigger right uh, the file should be saved into a Indian standard time zone okay it is complete add trigger trigger now so what is the use case here whenever what actually happen you generally get a file on a daily basis okay on, on a daily basis generally we try to run this copy data activity okay so if, so if the file is getting stored into proper date format on a daily basis it will be easy for you whenever you will perform a data analytics and the data processing or any kind of the data analysis operation right you will select the uh, date folder and based on the date you can do like um, on monthly basis weekly basis and all now it is completed we'll go to the output folder so this is output i will click on the refresh now you can see this is the third of july you can see third of july and 1140 1140 so this is proper in got converted into the indian time zone right now if i will open this uh, i think it should be as it should be a same file because you perform copy activity in a json format okay so that is how actually it works i hope you got it yeah thanks that's it in this video